Ladies and gentlemen, this is Envoy of Kairos returning to you for another reaction. I know I still look like shit, I know I still need a haircut, but whatever. A new Ruby Volume 8 Part 2 trailer just dropped. I did not expect them to do that. But I'm absolutely loving Volume 8 so far. I cannot wait for Part 2 to start next month. I mean, we've got exactly two weeks until this shit drops, and uh, I'm sure this trailer is going to have us anticipating a lot of absolute hell. There's been a lot of new Ruby reactors popping up left and right recently, and uh, a lot of them are definitely going to take a while to catch up. But some of them are pushing to really plow through and be there on time. Which is rather impressive, honestly. And, uh, yeah, we can already all tell that the second half of this volume is going to be a very potent combination of suffering and hype. So, let's just see what we're in for. You deserve so much more than I've given you. You've fought your whole life unwaveringly for what you want. And here I am, holding you back. And it's apparently going to be very Cinder-centric. I have always promised to defend this kingdom from those who would see it destroyed, no matter the cost. Whether you or my hound get to her first, you will finally Ooh. have the intermediate Oh, path. God. This is not a situation where everyone wins. We have to choose. So choose. And I will have my staff. You'll only be helping her bring about the end for all of you! You're too late. Ooh, this is looking like it's going to be a lot worse than I thought. Okay, let's let's go back and check individual frames of this, so. We've got a ton more. Goliaths. Elysian Goliaths. That alone is pretty bad. And whatever they just got hit with has got to be pretty strong to dust them both instantly. Ironwood's still losing his shit. This kingdom. <sighs> okay. She's looking unhinged. That really can't be good. See it destroyed. No matter the cost. Whether you somehow the place she is there is familiar, but I have no idea. It doesn't look like the Atlas base, and there's obviously Grim right there. Shit, is that the hotel she was enslaved at? Or my hound get to... Ruby getting her ass kicked out. Uh, Penny People being possessed. This thing. Holy shit. Okay, so we're in for at least one new type of Grim when we get back to this next month, and that's going to be horrific. power. This is not a situation where everyone wins. We have to choose. And that has me wondering whether Cinder is attacking their base for some reason. Or if it's just Grim breaking into Atlas military property and breaking shit up to the point where they can escape on their own. So choose. And I will have my staff. You'll only be helping her bring about the end for all of you! Okay, so that shot with the candles. Obviously, those are electric candles. Or, oh, sorry. Yeah, to all go on at once, either that is really potent magic, or they're just fake candles that are all electrical, which is more likely, and that's the proof that they got the generator back up and running. The end for all of 
love you! You're too... The hound there was definitely on shitty property. You're too late. Salem is going to tear Oz a new one. Late. Uh. Let's see what some of the comments are selling us. Salem shake the child. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, this is going to get really, really bad. Well... I think we can all very clearly see that the second half of this volume is going to be straight fucked, but since they showed us no heroic moments in that trailer at all, they're obviously saving them all so they're more of a surprise. I'm still calling that we're going to get that back up from Vale via Raven dropping a portal. That still seems pretty obvious to me. Hopefully we do indeed get that, and probably not until at least episode 10. Yeah, probably about then. It'll probably be sort of a reverse of volume 3, where it's dark as the end of volume 3 for the majority of it, and then gets really heroic for the last two or three episodes. That sounds about right. Well, for now, this is Envoy of Kairos, signing out. And I hope to see all of you back here for more Ruby reactions next month. And try to stick around to follow my gameplay. Uh, I've, I've got a lot of other stuff coming as well. Speed paints, animated anecdotes, etc. So, I'll see you all again later.